What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Audio Solutions and today we're talking about players on known Battleground commonly known as PUBG. Now today I'll be welcoming you to Season 25 and I'm going to show you the best settings that you can use to basically go from this FPS like this or to go to FPS like this which is double the FPS. Now all you're going to need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. Just follow every single step that I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to go over the game settings, some window settings and settings that you're going to need that's very important for this game so you can have a smoother gameplay experience so you can have a competitive advantage over everyone else inside this game. Follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right, let's jump straight into it. All right, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is you're going to come over here to this little gear icon over here and then come to settings and you're going to come to the basics over here, which is your language. This is your auto preference of language. You're going to choose your language over here. From here, you're going to go to NVIDIA, which is the NVIDIA highlight auto capture. I highly recommend disabling this. Over here, we're going to go to display mode. I play my game in borderless. The reason why I do that is because I have multiple monitors. If you only have one screen, I would highly recommend that you put this at full screen. It's very important important to have this at full screen if you only have one monitor. If you have multiple monitors, go with borderless. From here, you're going to go to the highest resolution that your monitor can handle or your screen can handle. Mine is 4K, but I actually play my game at 1080p. Otherwise, I'm going to be losing FPS and I don't want that. From here, you're going to go to lobby FPS cap, have this unlimited, have in-game FPS cap unlimited so you can see the amount of frames that you can actually push with your machine. From here, you're going to move to smooth frame rate and disable this completely. Brightness is your overall preference, your own personal preference. I have mine at 85. The reason why I do that is because there's a lot of dark corners in this game and I can't see my enemies if my brightness is at its defaults. Universal brightness for all maps, I highly recommend you go ahead and enable this and then say apply from here. After you applied the basic settings over here, I highly recommend you come to the advanced option over here and then come to the advanced settings tab. Render scale, I highly recommend if your machine is really struggling with this game in general with FPS and you can see that you're doing lower than 60 FPS, there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with this game and that's why I'm making this video. If you are struggling a lot and you're not even achieving 60 FPS or you are achieving just over 60 FPS, I would recommend putting the render scale at 100. If your FPS is higher than 60, like you're doing 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, whatever the case might be, put this at 120 render scale. Please go ahead and do that. From here, you're going to go to first person camera FOV. That's what FPP camera FOV stands for, is first person camera field of view right? So mine is at 103. This is my own personal preference. You can change yours to your own personal preference over here. Mine is on 103 because I can see more on my right and left hand side. Overall graphic settings, we're going to go over this. It will go to custom automatically once you change this over here. And the analyzing, I would highly recommend you change this to medium so that the foliage in the game in general, because it also helps with foliage, you'll see as a foliage option over here, this. And the analyzing in general makes grass much thicker when you put it at high or on ultra. Plus, like I said, this is competitive settings, so you're just gonna follow all of these settings. So, anti-analyzing at medium, you're gonna go to post-processing. You do not need to have this at ultra, trust me, you don't. If you don't have a machine to handle this correctly, you can go all the way to very low, all right? I can have mine at ultra with my machine. If you can, you can go ahead with Ultra as well. Shadows, very low. You do not need to see the shadows in this fucking game. You don't need to. Trust me. If you, It's a very competitive game, this. You want the most advantage you can have out of this game's quality and the way you play in general. So please, put this on very low. Textures, always at Ultra or always at High. Never anything lower than that, okay? From here, you're going to go to Effects. You do not need to see the effects in this game. You really don't. For people out there that has really beast computers and they're not watching my video right now for an FPS boost guide and stuff like that, they might have everything on Ultra. When smoke pops, you will be able to see them when that smoke starts to dissipate, you'll be able to see them before they see you because they have this smoke quality and effects on Ultra or on High. Have this at very low. These are competitive settings. Just follow my settings. Trust me, you'll be good to go. From here, you're going to go to Foliage. I have mine at high. If you want to know my PC specs, it's a 9700K, water cooling loop on it, overclocked, RTX 2060 OC, overclocked, 16 gigs of RAM, overclocked, with different timings on the RAM. Also, XMP is enabled on my RAM, right? So this is how I run my game. Foliage, I would recommend high. If you can't run it at high and you see an FPS dip, I would highly recommend you put this at low over here. But I'm going to go back to my settings over here. View distance, high for me as well because of my machine. It can handle it perfectly fine. If yours does not, please go to low, 
All right. From here, you're going to come to sharpen and make this on enable. Please enable this. You can actually see the enemies easier because the game is sharpened. The more sharpened your game is, the better visual you're going to have on enemies moving. Any object that's moving, like an enemy driving a vehicle or enemy's helmet, or you see an enemy laying in the grass, the, the sharpened the game is, the better it's going to be for you to spot an enemy. From here, you're going to come to V-Sync. V-Sync is disabled. This is only a feature to enable, like this, if you're getting stuff like screen tearing. If your screen is tearing apart, then you enable this. If you don't see any screen tearing on your screen, like that, where the car literally tears apart, if you don't see that at all, disable it. You don't need it then. So, if you put this on enable, it will automatically cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor. So let's say 60, 120, 144, 240, you know, 340, whatever the case might be, it will cap it to that FPS because you're capping it to your screen's refresh rate if you have V-Sync on. But if you turn V-Sync off and you don't get screen tearing at all, your FPS will climb to the max that it can go to. All right. Obviously, motion blur, you do not want this on. Trust me, you do not want this on if you want a competitive advantage in this game. If you enable this, as you can see, everything blurs around you when you move. Now, if someone's standing around you somewhere, you're not going to see him. Then just blame yourself for having this option on. Put it off for the love of fuck, because you can actually then see the enemies very easily. When you move your mouse left and right, you don't want motion blur to be on. So turn it the fuck off. Turn motion blur off. You don't need it to be on. DirectX version, I would highly recommend you go with DirectX 11. It gives you the best FPS out of this game. The higher you push this, the less FPS you're going to do. And your game's not going to look different. Trust me, I've tried it. The game does not look any better than what it does on DirectX 11. Now from here, you're obviously going to apply these settings. And then from here, you're going to go to audio. Now audio is your own personal preference over here. It's literally your own personal preference. I can't tell you what to do here. But I have my weapons effect sounds in general on remastered okay controls your own personal preference this is my sensitivity it's literally stock as you can see i do mine through my mouse itself i have a steel series rival 650 wireless and it is a very competitive mouse as well so i don't need to change anything inside you but yet again this is your own personal preference over here what you're going to do inside you key bindings is yet again your own personal preference but if you want to you can go ahead and copy all of my settings as is over here this is competitive settings for my common commands in my controls for my keyboard from here it's obviously combat this is my mouse settings and obviously my cycle for my equipment and stuff like that you can go ahead and copy this if you want to or it's your own personal preference literally these that i'm going over here right now is your own personal preference everything inside you and the spectate as well it's your own personal preference all right from here you're going to go to gameplay and this plays a very very big role inside this game inventory character render if you have this enabled every time you press tab to see what you have in your inventory and what guns you have and stuff like that your character is going to render in and you don't want it to do that every time you press tab because then you're going to see your character disable this trust me disable this it's just going to eat vram and your gpu's performance so you will actually do less performance if you have this enabled. So please go ahead and disable this. Colorblind mode, I highly recommend that you take this off from normal to any other thing inside you. Because at the game in general on normal looks like dog shit. Um, if you want a competitive advantage and you're a competitive player and you're watching my video right now, I probably know that you have one of these selected. If you're new to my channel, Make sure you subscribe if this worked for you, but go ahead and change it to anything inside here. Please go ahead and do that because it actually makes it so much better for you. I have mine like this and I'll keep it like this. 
Obviously, I have my crosshair at a certain color, which is pink. So you have this at like 255, 0, 255, and 255. And I can actually see my crosshair very, very easily. So it's your own personal preference on what you're going to make your crosshair in this game, what color you're going to make it. And then the rest is your own personal preference preference. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here, and it plays a very big role in the game itself to make the game pop and the color pop in the game and everything look better overall if you are an NVIDIA user like me and you got an NVIDIA graphics card. You're just going to come to your desktop like this, right click on it and say NVIDIA control panel, open up NVIDIA control panel, just like this over here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to come to this option first. And you're going to have this at use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. It's basically just going to take you to this option over here. And you're going to come to this over here, which is global settings. Now, you're going to keep these settings exactly as it is inside here. Select everything I have over here as is and you should be good to go on this game. Trust me, everything selected as is over here. So CUDA GPUs, obviously you're going to select your dedicated graphics card. Just go ahead and make sure it's selected over here. Scroll down. You're going to have your low latency mode on on over here. If you have an option that only says ultra, just go ahead and select ultra. Do not put it off. I highly recommend either on or ultra. If you have on and ultra, go with on. If you only have ultra, go with ultra. Okay. From here, you're going to go to OpenGL Rendering GPU, and you're going to go here and select this, and make sure you have your dedicated graphics card selected. Do not make it auto-select, because it will select between your CPU and your GPU, or anything that it can grab hold of to give you more frames. You don't want that. You want it to be on your dedicated graphics card and let it use all the performance it can. This is where we're going to use that performance, is in power management mode, you're going to select prefer maximum performance. Click on this, prefer maximum performance, not optimal not adaptive prefer maximum performance default driver on allow high performance on auto and then obviously off over here and this is just virtual reality things that you do not need from here you're going to apply these settings like this just going to apply them and then from here don't worry your screen's going to flash a couple of times don't worry about that it's just applying the settings for you from here you're going to come to conflicts around in physics and you're going to come inside here make sure that your physics settings which is handling your quality and the physics in general in your game whatever you're playing, PUBG or any other game, make sure that this is selected on your GPU, your dedicated graphics card, not auto-select, not CPU, your dedicated graphics card, and say apply at the bottom over here. From here, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings, and you're going to come inside here. As you can see, like I said, I have multiple monitors. This is my main screen I have over here. Now, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to come to your main screen. If you only have one screen, don't worry about it. Click on your main screen and come to this over here. Brightness, 50%. You're going to be changing that in-game, not inside here. Contrast, you're going to change inside here. You're going to change it to 65. It's the sweet spot for 2023 right now. We're almost in 2024. Trust me, 65 is a sweet spot. Gamma, it's default, which is 1.00. And then your digital vibrance is your own personal preference. If you click on image 3 over here and pull this down, you'll see your screen go black and white. Now, if you have this at 50, which is its default, you'll see that your windows in general looks washed out. Your game is also then going to look washed out and all your games are going to look washed out. So push this up to your own personal preference. Mine is 95 and this is how I play my game. This is what I would recommend for everyone out there to change. Right now, this very moment for the latest season, for season 25, please go ahead and change these settings. It will make your game run really smooth. If you follow my guidelines and this actually worked for you, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for your new year. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, hope this helped you. And as always, peace out.